I'm holding this up. <laughs> here I am. I like hulked my way into it. Like what happened here? What is happening right now? I need something. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my June favorites here for you today. So I've got my overall Friday favorites to quickly mention to you. And then I have some skincare, body care, hair care, some other makeup-y things, and a fashion and a super random thing to mention to you. <laughs> but just so many fun things I wanted to talk to you guys about this month. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, so let's get to it. Quickly running through overall Friday favorites. For eyes, I have to go with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. This is just incredible. The quality is just out of this world. It blows me away every time I use it. I love the colors in it. It's just so good, so beautiful. I can't stop using it and I love it so much. For um, blush, I have, I'm have i gonna say two favorites. I'm gonna have to go with my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream. That's what I have on today. It's just like this beautiful, everyday, go with everything sort of a blush color. It is just perfect. And then I'm gonna say my Bare Minerals Fruit Cocktail. This is just a gorgeous, like bright, glowy pink blush. It's so pretty, it's so girly. So super neutral, go with everything, still glowy and beautiful. And then sort of a little bit like Barbie, extra girly, sort of a fun blush color, love it. For lips, I have to go with my Rimmel Kate Nude Lipsticks. These are just beautiful, both in the packaging and on your lips. They're just great, cream lipsticks. They're super affordable, like four to five dollars. They have a bunch of different colors. So if you want to see them swatched on my hand, on my lips, I do have a lip swatch party video that you can check out, but I've been loving them. Right now I'm wearing number 45 and they're just awesome. So these are my picks for lips. And then some make me favorites that I did not mention in Friday favorites. First off is my Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam. This is kind of a funny story. I was trying to purchase the Modern Renaissance palette and I accidentally purchased this. It was in my cart, like in my account. So I had the Modern Renaissance palette in there. And then when I went to sign in to check out, it bumped that out and this was already in there and their price is pretty close to each other. So anyway, I checked out and I was like, wait a minute, what? And then I looked at the confirmation and realized what had happened. And I was like, oh man but I was secretly a little bit excited about it because I had originally really wanted this. So it was kind of a funny accident that I got this, but I really, really love this. It is just a beautiful, like pinky toned highlighter palette. These are so pretty. I've been wearing this nonstop, like this is amazing. I didn't realize these were limited edition, apparently. That makes me really sad. I was trying to research that and Pintalia says they are, so I assume they are, which that makes me sad because I really do like this and I hate that because then like in the future, I still want to use this, but I can't like use it in videos and talk to you guys about it. So get it while you can because this is so pretty. I mean, it just, these just glide on your skin and they just, oh my gosh. I feel like this formula is one of the best highlighter formulas I've ever used because they don't, they don't get heavy looking. I mean, I'm sure they could if you use too much, but they just seem to really like blend into the skin so beautifully and just have this like intense, but not weird looking super highlight. You know what I mean? Like it, it still looks very highlighted, but it doesn't look like sticky or chalky or um, cakey or any of that kind of situation. It's just beautiful. So I'm so glad that I accidentally purchased this because I've been loving it. Big statement I'm about to say here, but it's the truth. New favorite mascara. New favorite mascara. Yes, I love this that much. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is so good. First off, I love the packaging. I love the like curvy, I don't know, futuristic sort of a situation. It just looks cool, so I like the packaging. This is one of those mascaras that gives you va va voom statement lashes. Like, almost makes you look like you're wearing false lashes. I was comparing a picture, like, cause y'all know, I don't like false lashes. They make me crazy. So I was comparing side by side, me with false lashes, me without false lashes, but wearing this mascara, 
and I couldn't see a big difference. So I think that this is like crazy impressive. I thought that was really impressive as I was comparing, I'm like, man, I mean this, yeah, if you don't like false lashes, if you're like me, try this mascara. So this is one of those kind of, it's sort of a thick goopy sort of a formula, which I know a lot of people don't like. I love that sort of a formula because I feel like those are the formulas that give you that crazy volume and just intense looking lashes. I'm holding this up. <laughs> Here I am. I'm holding this up so I can show you the wand. It is a bristle sort of a brush and you know, like a pretty good size one. It's not like crazy long. It's not crazy fat or anything like that. It's just, you know, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte, the wand, except this is this looks a little bit thicker. I think that one's a little bit thinner. Anyway, it's that thick, clumpy sort of a formula, but if you are careful with how you apply it, I don't find it to do a bunch of clumping or anything like that. I just go this side, then I switch to this side, then I switch to this side, which is what I do with every mascara, but you know, I just use that same kind of technique with this one and it seems to work really well. So if you're looking for va va Boom lashes, you don't like wearing false lashes, you're like me, I would try this mascara, it's so good. Um, does get up here a little bit, but not bad. I'll take it because this is incredible. Some skincare favorites this month. I'm still loving my Josie Marin Argon Oil. That is just gonna be like a long time running skincare favorite. I love that stuff. But I've also been using these this month and really liking them. I think I've mentioned this to you before. I'm pretty sure because you can see I've made a pretty good dent in it. This is the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. It has 2% hydroquinone skin lightener in it. So I've been using this on a few, I have like three different spots on my face um, where I have some like, I don't know, sunspots or whatever. So I've been using this for a while and I do feel like it's lightening them. Not like crazy significantly like they're gone, but I do feel like I can see a difference over time. So I really like this one for that. But then I've also been using these two. There is a serum as well in this line, but I only remember to use that once. So I can't really tell you much about that one. But this is the Intensive C Radiance Peel. And then this is just the Essential C Night Moisture. This is really nice and moisturizing and hydrating. So I've been using this at night and it just feels great on my skin. It feels really like moisturizing, hydrating, but not thick and gross and heavy. So love that. But this right here is really my favorite thing. I do still have the box so I can, and I like hulked my way into it. Like what happened here? I don't even know. But this is, it's basically almost like a mask. Like you put it on, let it sit, and then you wash it off. But it almost is like it gives you a new layer of skin. So my skin looks a little red after I wash it off but then it goes away after a while. So what does it say about it? It says glycolic acid exfoliates to accelerate turnover of, turnover of, of dark damaged cells, removing dullness and improving skin texture. Myrtle extract supports cellular renewal to boost youthful radiant resilience and elasticity. Vitamin C and Indian fig protect against free radical damage while enhancing skin clarity and luminosity. So basically what I notice when I use all of these products is just my skin seems to look better. Like the smoothness of it, like discoloration, um, just the overall smoothness. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about fine lines or things like that, but just like the tone and look of your skin. That's what I noticed with this line specifically from your ad. So I really do like it. I feel like this one's kind of like your kickstart sort of a product because it's like, I mean, it says intensive. So I mean, it's gonna like do the work quickly. So I really like it for that reason. But then afterwards, like this is just so, I don't know. I'll use this in addition to other things. So even if I'm using other serums, I've been using this as well, just cause it feels really nice on the skin. So after that sort of a treatment, when your skin is just like, wow, that was intense. This just feels so soothing on it. So I love Murad. I love all their products. I don't think I can think of anything I've tried from them that I don't like. So I love their line, but this one's another really good one. Hair care favorite this month is my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. So I've mentioned this before, I believe, because this has been a long time favorite of mine. I actually tried the newer one that's supposed to be kind of banana scented. I thought I would love that one more than this one, but I still like this one the best because 
I don't know. I just like this scent better. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so coconutty and just summertime beach vacation sort of a scent to it. It's yummy, super affordable. So as far as like texturizing sprays and sea salt sprays go, this is one of the most affordable ones you can get. And I feel like it works great. It's this little like, you know, do 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 sort of a thing. So I really get pretty, pretty far away from my head because a lot comes out so I use it sparingly so I'll spray and then I'll scrunch so I mostly use this I really have not used it I'm trying to think back I don't think I've used this at all on first day hair I think I usually use it on like second day or third day hair just to kind of like give that messy texture sort of a look to the hair and sort of like revive my curls a little bit so love it for that and I have used this before like when I've gone swimming and my hair is just like what is happening right now? I need something. <laughs> so I would just spray it on there to kind of like give my hair something to do. You know what I mean? Because my hair is pretty straight. So this at least helps it have a little bit of texture when it's, when I've been swimming and it's sad looking. So anyway, I love this. Smells yummy. Looks great on the hair. Just don't use too much. For body care, this is my favorite line for sunless tanning. Now, I haven't used it recently, so... <laughs> Don't judge its effectiveness on how I look right now and how pale I am because I haven't used it recently. But I love this. I did use it earlier in the month and this is like my go-to line for sunless tanning. This is tan wise and I get this at Sally's. I have the one hour sunless lotion. Yeah, one hour sunless lotion, the creamy tanning lotion, and then just the regular lotion. They do have a mousse. I think they have um, like a face one. I haven't I don't like mousse for tanners, so I don't know about the mousse. I haven't tried the face one, but I love all the three that I have, the lotion, the one hour, and the gradual. I don't really notice a big hour, a big hour, hmm, a big hour, a big difference between the one hour and the regular, other than this one develops a little bit quicker, but I find that they look the same. Um, they both have a really dark um, guide to them, so when you use them, they're a little bit scary. Um, they smell good. They kind of have like a cherry almond sort of a scent. Now they do have that like tanner smell when they develop. I haven't found any tanners that don't have that scent. Me personally, even if they smell good when they're going on your skin, I always notice that they have that smell when they're developing. So this one does that, but when you apply it, it smells nice. Um, but they both have that dark guide. When you then wash off the guide, it's a really pretty color to it. It's like a really nice, just beautiful tan. It's not super orangey. It's not super red or I don't know, too olivey greenish looking. Some of them can go that direction too much. I feel like this one's right in the middle, really pretty looking, but it wears off evenly. That's the thing that I love the most about this line. Pretty much all other tanners, most of them that I've tried wear off so strangely on me, like really, really weird looking patchy and just not normal. So this doesn't do that. Um, it will if I apply it like three days in a row, four days in a row and I get it too thick, like I built up too much tanner on my skin. That's the only time that it'll do it. But one or two layers, no. And then I wanted to mention this one. This is the creamy tanning lotion. So this is like a gradual sort of a tanner and it has a little bit of color to it. Just like a, I don't want to squirt it everywhere, but I don't know how to describe what that looks like. It looks a little strange, but <laughs> has a little bit of color to it, but it's definitely not nearly as dark as the guide on this one. So, I mean, it really kind of disappears into your skin, but this actually packs a pretty good punch for being a gradual tanner. It really does tan well. So if you're not like a big tanner person, you don't like to sunless tan. I really don't like to either. That's why I'm not right now. But if you don't like tanning, maybe start with this one. It's really good. I love this whole line, super affordable. It's just my favorite. A fashion favorite this month is my little tassel necklace. This is so cute, I love it. It's so colorful and happy. This is from a website called Purple Peridot. I follow them on Instagram and then I'm also on their email list. So they have a bunch of different really cute jewelry pieces, but they'll do like a daily deal 
where normally if it's, you know, $30 or whatever, then they mark it down to like 15, 12, sometimes 10, something like that. And their shipping's like, I think 99 cents. So I really like their jewelry. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like, you know, Stella and Dot quality, but it's also not a hundred and something dollars for a necklace. It's like $13 for a necklace. I think this was 13 or 15 or something like that. But um, and this one does kind of come in and out of stock, but I love it so much. I think it's really cute. I wore it in a couple of videos this month and out in life as well. <laughs> so I really do like this one specifically, but I like that website a lot. I think they have some really cute jewelry and I like affordable jewelry. The only time that I really pay a higher price for my jewelry is if it's handmade, like by an artist at a craft fair or a festival or something that we're at, then I'll pay more if it's handmade by an artist. But other than that, I pretty much have really affordable jewelry. So I feel like they have some really cute affordable jewelry. And this is my super random favorite this month. I have a pot to show you. <laughs> and I almost didn't show this to you guys because I don't think it's in stock right now. Um, I hope they bring it back because I love this little thing. I wanted to mention it to you so we can maybe kind of like all be keeping our eyes peeled for it if it comes back in stock because I love this little thing. This is a little tiny pot from Wolfgang Puck. So my mom got this on HSN and she was just barely able to grab a couple of them. And at first I was like, what am I supposed to do with this tiny little pot? Like it just, I mean, it looks, you know, I mean, it looks big compared to my head, but it's a little bitty pot. Like it's so tiny and it fits on like the small little burners. Our, our stove has like some really tiny ones that don't really, aren't really functional with most of our pans, but this fits perfect, perfectly on it. This doesn't get hot, so you can pick that up. And then the lid has little strainers on it. So it just makes it so easy for side vegetables. So when we're doing like frozen vegetables or whatever, this is perfect for that because you can boil them in there and then you just strain them and it takes two seconds and it's so easy. I just love it. And I think it was around $30 or so. So I don't remember what it's called, but I love it. I think it's so great. And I know that's totally random to show a pot in a beauty favorites video. <laughs> All right guys, so that wraps up my June favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving in June. What were some of your makeup, skincare, hair care? maybe cookware sort of favorites this month. I would love to know your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!